What's up, peasant? Scooter, what are you doing in a limo? Don't act like you don't know, Scott. It's all over the news. I won the lottery, and I'm a millionaire now. Yep. You won the lottery, all right, and so did 5,000 other people. It says the winning numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I play the same numbers every week. You know it's going to be divided between you and 5,000 other people. You won like 200 bucks. Yeah, whatever, dude. I am a millionaire. I don't care what you say. Driver, get me out of here. Have some skills for the road, you swear. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And as many of you know, I am a hand cannon connoisseur. And over the last year, I have added a lot to my collection. So much so that some of them never made an appearance on the channel, and some of them have never been fired, and that is just disgusting. So today, I'm going to introduce you to some of these new hand cannons, and we are going to blast some stuff. So we're gonna start out smallest and work our way up to the biggest hand cannons that I have to show you today. First up is a 1911 chambered in 460 Roland. So I have a Glock that is chambered in 460 Roland and I liked it so much that I decided to get the 1911 version, but it never made an appearance on the channel. So if you don't know what a 460 Roland is, it's basically a 45 ACP on steroids. These are Underwood ammo, 230 grain, 460 rolling. I am loaded up with seven of them, and I'm gonna blast Scooter's Beetle Bug. Oh no! You just got jammed. All right, we got her fixed. Here we go. You just got jammed. I think there was a bird in there. I'm pretty sure a bird flew out of that car. <laughs> you know what? I forgot to put on my safety glasses the whole time I was shooting that car. Big mistake. And you know what else is a big mistake? Not subscribing to the greatest gun channel in the world, Kentucky Ballistics. Hit that subscribe button. Them <laughs> big guys, you gotta go for the legs. That 460 Roland is definitely packing a lot more punch than the old 45 ACP. The next hand cannon that I have to show you is one that has been requested for years. This is a Ruger Super Blackhawk, but this thing is chambered in 480 Ruger. This is the 480 Ruger that is a 400 grain soft point, and I am very excited to try this thing out. Downrange, I have some pudding and some sweet peas. So this being a Ruger Blackhawk, it is a single action revolver. So that means the cylinder does not open. You have to load them in in this little loading gate right here. I've never fired this gun before. So first I wanna figure out where my point of aim is. So I'm gonna aim for that steel target first. We're gonna go for the pudding first. Oh! <laughs> All right, now let's mix in some sweet peas. Oh! I hate sweet peas. Oh. I 
can smell it. And it's disgusting. Yep, that is quite a disgusting mess. And it makes me want to frown. But the 480 Ruger makes me want to do the opposite. I think I like it. So the next hand cannon I have to show you and for us to try out is a Smith & Wesson 350 Legend. And if you don't know this, 350 Legend is a rifle ri uh, yeah, Anyways, what I was saying is the 350 Legend is actually a rifle round. These are Underwood ammo, 170 grain soft points, and the Smith & Wesson 350 Legend holds seven of these things. This is an X-frame revolver, so it is very big and very heavy. It actually has a compensated barrel, so this recoil should not be very bad at all. It should be quite pleasurable to shoot, which I hate. I want some recoil. I do understand though that most of you probably don't enjoy recoil as much as I do, but if you'd like to learn some techniques on how to handle recoil better, you should swing over to the Kentucky Ballistics Breakdown channel. I have a video over there that gives you tips on how to handle a hand cannon like a pro, and that is linked in the description down below. First, I'm just gonna take a shot at that steel target over there. Dang! Did you see that muzzle flash? That was a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take one more shot at the steel target. I like this thing. The recoil on this is pretty faint, but you are throwing some serious firepower. Let's go ahead and go for that glue. Oh. Okay, glue again. Oh, I think it's just zipping right through these things. Let's get the mustard again. Splatter on that berm. Oh, yep, looks like the old 350 Legend did a legendary job at making a mess. This thing is actually a lot of fun to shoot. It is a very hefty revolver, and the 350 Legend is not producing too much recoil. And I think this compensator really helps a lot. And it is creating quite a flash. I would love to shoot this thing at night sometime. <laughs> Not bad. I think I like this thing. to show you is one that you've seen on the channel many times but not quite like this. 
This is a Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE with a very patriotic Cerakote. I love the way this thing looks, but it does have one problem. The guys over at Magnum Research played a prank on me. If you see right here, this on the bottom looks like a heart. And if you look deep into that heart, you can see it says Scott and Matt. I appreciate a good joke, but they pretty much ruined this whole gun by putting Matt's name on it. Other than that, I love the way it looks, but now we need to see if this thing will function. What? Are you wondering why I'm shooting eggplants? Well, it's because nobody likes eggplants. <laughs> too bad for a gun with Matt's name on it. For those of you who are new to the channel, what I was just shooting was eggplant puree, and it is absolutely disgusting. It smells like a wet ashtray, and it looks like pterodactyl poop. Other than me to shoot it, who in the world buys this? So I've saved the best hand cannon for last, a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And as many of you know, 500 Magnum is my absolute favorite handgun cartridge. This 500 Magnum is unlike any I've shown on the channel before. This is a Smith & Wesson John Ross edition. John Ross is one of the original creators of the 500 Magnum, and Smith & Wesson released a limited run of this revolver. This thing has actually never been fired, so I'm very excited to break it in. All right, we are loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 350 grain jacket at hollow points, and we have gravy and pudding. Oh! Golly, that thing kicks. I like it. Let's hit some gravy. We got one more thing of gravy. <laughs> that came back at us. We almost got slathered in gravy like some biscuits. As usual, the 500 Magnum was absolutely smacking those targets, but so was this guy. It was absolutely punishing my wrist. And I think that's because this thing does not have any kind of a muzzle break, and uh, you're just getting the full force of that 500 Magnum. But you know what? I absolutely love it. They should make all the 500 Magnums like this. That way you really know what you're shooting. Oh, 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 I am not 200 pounds anymore. That hurt. Oh, being a big boy has its consequences. 
Oh, okay, so the last thing I need to do today is something I haven't done in a while, and it brings me great joy, dual wielding hand cannons. Oh, no. You just got jammed. So we did not have the best luck out of the 460 Roland. Let's see if we can do any better with the 500 Magnum and the Desert Eagle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now. You just got jammed. Okay, we are going to eliminate the risk of a jam. I'm just going to stick with the 350 Legend and the 500 Magnum. Ring in that steel. Finish off with my left hand. <laughs> I love 500 Magnum more than any hand cannon out there. Of all the ones I showed today, which was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a great time. If you had as much fun as I did, be sure and give this video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on future fun, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Kentucky Ballistics Breakdown, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Are you not entertained?